Well, hi there. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. The question today in this video is, is speech therapy easy for apraxia? Or is speech therapy easy for aphasia? And, you know, it's an interesting phenomena. If you go through YouTube and you see all of the uh, information about aphasia and apraxia on YouTube, there are lots of authorities. There are people who have aphasia who are making videos, as well as their caregivers who are making videos, in addition to therapists who are m making videos, and even people with aphasia who are making videos. And many of them are quite good, and many of them are interesting. And the question again is, is speech therapy for aphasia or apraxia easy? And so I'm going to answer that very briefly and very easily. You know, if you look at just about any expert and you ask him for an opinion about something or you ask him to fix something, he, can, he or she can usually fix it before you could say, Jack Sprat could eat no fat. Okay, why is that? Well, because they've been down the road lots of times before. I was working on a project uh, to replace something at my home the other day. And I thought it was only going to take 15 or 20 minutes, but you know, it ended up taking me about half of the day because, it, you know, everything I tried didn't work. And then I figured that something needed to change. So I, I had to take another hour and drive over to Lowe's and um, get some parts and come back. And finally, voila, I fixed it. But it only took like six hours <laughs> for a 15 minute job. Okay, so the question is, is replacing something easy? Well, I thought it was, okay? But then I found out it wasn't. And I had to go through all of these trial and error procedures before I figured out how I could replace that darn thing. And so the, the, the topic today is just that. Um, even myself, uh, when, when I do videos, I can say how easy it is, or, uh, just about anybody else can say the same thing, but it really isn't, uh, because it takes a lot of trial and error. You have to mess up a lot before you really figure it out what to do. And then again, there are so many people with aphasias and apraxias that are so diametrically different that there's no clear rule and there's no clear method for um, improving talking for aphasia or apraxia. It's just like that part I had to change. I thought there was a method to do it, but but I found out before I could even think anything else that I'd have to figure it out all on my own. So how do you make uh, uh, speaking, uh, how do you make it easy? Or how do you make aphasia easy? Or how do I make uh, uh, an apraxia easy? Well, the, the simple uh, answer to that is, the, the, number one, you first have to get with an expert who knows what they're doing, okay? Th that's the first thing. And, and if that expert really knows how to do it, it'll be very easy for that expert to, to improve that person's speaking. But the teaching of talking does exactly that, but we add a step. The step that we add is that we train you at the same time that we do the therapy so that the seemingly easy techniques which an expert knows can be taught to a caregiver or to a person with aphasia, and they can pick it up very easily and also do it, okay? That's what I needed the other day when I had to fix that darn thing. Uh, if, if I had somebody, if I called over one of my neighbors, which I wanted to do, but I didn't do, 
I, I wanted to figure it out for myself. It would have saved me hours and hours and hours and hours and time so wasting as they say. So to conclude this video, my suggestion to you is that aphasia and apraxia therapy can be very easy, but not if you do it yourself and not if you're a neophyte or not if you're a newbie and don't know much about aphasia or apraxia. You've got to learn from an expert and we help you learn what you need to know about aphasia or apraxia because we have videos, we have books, and, and we have personal mentoring where, where I can cut right to the chase and take a look at a person speaking and, and just know where to start and go ahead and start and then teach what I'm doing to get that person started to the caregiver who can then uh, utilize those methods and techniques around the clock. So is speech therapy for aphasia and apraxia easy? No, not for the person who doesn't have any experience with it. But yes, if you find an expert who can show you the ropes and show you what to do in a logical, sequential manner, well, by golly, you'll have speaking improvement before you know it. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist, thanking you for stopping by. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if not, uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to um, take a look at the links below the video and you can find out about our videos, about our books, so you can start learning about it and so that you can start uh, helping your loved one. But the best of all methods is to find an expert and hang out with that expert and do therapy with that expert, with your loved one, so that you can learn where to start, what to do, and how to do it elegantly. This is Mark Edelman. Hey, have a great day today, a great month. Uh, a great year and a great lifetime ahead. And remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe and check our links below and uh, you'll be well on your way to getting started with your loved one. Thanks a lot and have a good day and a good lifetime. Bye-bye now.